Welcome! We are playing Europa Universalis 4, and we are playing as England, and we have just beaten France and Scotland, made a peace deal and whatnot, and activated a coalition against us, so I guess we're just sort of sitting on our thumbs until that sort of settles down and people start to leave the coalition again. I will try to improve relations with the Irish to see if we uh, can... Uh, Diplovasalism. We should be able to some point in the future. Probably we need to core those those two cores needs to be done. And the uh, mission we have will also give us diplo rep, so that might be enough. Hopefully. So we can get that done and we can start uh, you know, integrating them and whatnot. Losing claims against Burgundy, that should be fine. So uh, what is happening here? Uh, Muscovy, Novgorod, Novgorod's doing well, and it's an independent Karelia here as well. Alright. Stuff is happening over here. Sweden is in uh, trouble. Norway is uh, looking alright. Denmark is also in trouble. Lübeck is awesome, Lübeck. Big. Ottomans, they seem to be doing alright. Morocco beat. Portugal out of uh, Africa, yeah. And uh, Naples is uh, doing alright for itself as well, it's taking some territory up here. And Austria is sort of gotten smaller, Tyrol has gotten independent, Salzburg and Ravensburg they had at one point. Don't know why I was paused, but oh yeah, because the ship arrived. I need one more ship and we can start exploring. This is uh, estates events, yeah, I'm not very familiar with estates, it's also since it's new and all that, but um, we only have two estates because we actually have a parliament. So what is this telling us? Force the merchants to lower the prices, burgers lose 15 loyalty and 10 influence. Okay, we actually want the loyalty to be high and the influence to be low, if I understand this correctly. Uh, burgers gain 10 loyalty and a lot of peasants, oh and 10 influence, and a lot of peasants. All in the region where we actually have soldiers, so that should be fine. Or we lose money and burgers gain the same. 10 and 10. Loyalty and influence, 10 and 10. We have the money, so I guess we'll go this way. We could fight rebels and whatnot, but I can't be bothered, really. Uh, okay, lose one ferocity, but we've chosen the option where they actually never... Re re what's called? Where natives never appear to attack our colonies, so that's... Uh, Irrelevant for us. Okay, we can uh, invest in our technology. It will be the uh, level 10 of admin, so we probably need to get Scotland to be a vassal reasonably soon, but uh, we'll have to wait until uh, the next war. Uh, so, I'm worried about the aggressive expansion and a huge coalition forming against us. Now there's a manageable coalition. A uh, huge coalition that will just cost way too much in uh, the long run, I think. So, uh, and the target with declaring on Scotland was actually to get to go to war with France without having to go with war with uh, Austria at the same time. Well, we got our fleet. Let's get an explorer and start exploring again. So, where are you going? Coast of South Atlantic, Water South Atlantic, coast of... Uh, I think we were at Coros, so we'll go to the coast of Coros. I think that's where we were the last time around. And this tech was next January, right? Yeah. We're recalling the uh, guy from Provence. We have their cores and whatnot, so they will not become our... 
vessels voluntarily. That is completely correct. Right. Offer vesselization. We are you know, English military could be better. Is the economic base? So when the two corps come in and the diplorep from the mission, then that should be a possibility. Scotland, you dislike us. I imagine, yeah. Uh, offer vesselization, new. No. That would be a new. No. I don't know. Okay, we are going to uh, work on the guys in the coalition against us. These guys here. So, Galera. 53 crew relations, and maybe at some point, reasonably soon, you will leave this coalition. We also need our manpower to recover. Austria, uh, we have a lot of papal influence. We're actually thinking of changing to uh, reformed. We sort of missed the uh, Protestant, which I really wanted to do, but uh, I won't get a center of reformation, so it will be really troublesome and all that thing. So I'll go reformed instead when that sort of appears. So we'll have to remember to spend our papal points before we actually do do that on something. We have 92, almost 100, so we can spend it on whatever will be choose. Uh, but 90, we can get it. Several benefits anyway. Explore the sea. Can't actually reach. No, they see the coast. We can't actually reach anything over here. Who is this? Who is this? This is Portugal. This is. Hmm. Hmm. This is a bit. You know, I wanted to be first up there, but okay. That didn't happen. So where do we go next? New World, maybe. Waters of Chorus Still, same area. have money, we are making money, yeah we are, and we actually got uh, Cape Coast uh, done. And Alsace goes into a coalition against us, Cape Coast, they produce sources of sugar, excellent. So where can we colonize next? Gabon is the one we are actually working on, right? Yep. So the next one after that seems to be Bunny. There's Cameroon as well, and Calabar, and these guys here, but yeah, let's go for Bunny. That's because we can. This is all tropical, so it's not fantastic for us. We're still a year away from the next uh, admin tech. We have a military idea we could take. And we are head in military tech, so we will take this uh, Richmond cost of minus 10%. Excellent. Alright. Our current mission was to improve prestige. No, improve relations with Congo. Yeah, that's the one. So that's almost done. And December, so uh, January, we should be able to uh, take the admin tech. Truce with the Knights has ended. Truce with Venice and Trier went into a coalition against us. All right. Admin tech ten. Alright, it gives another group of ideas, it will be an admin group, don't know which one I want to take, I was thinking to get the expansion, to get the third colonist going, uh, but there are other nice ones as well, so we'll just look at that, but I'll take decisions here first, declaration of indulgence, stability cost for tolerance of heretics, mm, not too sure, 
and this one missionary strength does this uh, carry over if we actually change religions to to reformed I don't know we'll take it at least tolerance of heretics more stability yeah sure I'm not sure if it's the better choice but let's do that alright the admin idea we have innovation prestige decay mercenary cost tech cost this is very nice possible advisors use inflation reduce inflation leaders and advisor cost minus 25 percent that's actually substantial religious I don't feel like going religious though. Economic. Tax modifier, build cost. Economic could be an option. Explo expansion. Get a colonist. Get a merchant extra. Settler uh, increase. They're all good. Recruitment times. Not important. Dima diplomatic relations plus one. Also something I would like. Uh, right, admin, mercenaries, I don't use them that much, core creation would be very nice, mercenary maintenance, interests, available mercenaries, possible advisors, admin tech, humanist, religious unity, national unrest, these are strong, tolerance of heretics, plus three, separatism years culture threshold we probably want humanists better relations over time probably want humanists but I think I'll go expansion first and then humanists will be the second one I take and it might not actually be the sixth one but maybe the fifth one that we take right let's move time along again English France here all right Excellent. And yeah, Scotland, we sort of need to form Great Britain. Diplomatic reputation plus one. A new mission. Turn Gabon into a city. I think we'll take this one. Even though it's distance overseas, but it gives one extra development in the province. So, as soon as the two cores are done, we should be able to check if uh, the Irish want to be our vassals again. Um, but let's have a look at our some of our uh, guys in the coalition and see if we can uh, improve relations. Friesland, 51, so they're still over 50, but improve relations here. Saint performs miracles. Plus one stability or 20 papal influence. We are one stability. I'll go to plus two. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Alright. Another bunny is now being colonized. Another 25% or thereabouts to go. In the course. Religious disorder in Würzburg. Alright, so how is the Protestant sort of going about? Protestant in the Scandinavian region and in, in Germany. Uh, right? The enclosure moment? Uh, okay, the population of England lived on the land under manorial system. Uh, they were primarily tenant farmers who were tied to a particular locality, rarely if ever leaving their places of birth. With the rise of commerce it became increasingly profitable for the aristocracy who owned the land to enclose it. The enclosure movement displaced the tenant farmers and caused a movement into the cities. 
As people congregated in the cities, they became a source of cheap labor for the factories and mines that developed. The concentration of population into cities, however, also changed the class of the poor, many whom were willing to become indentured servants and migrate, migrate to the North American colonies in search for a better life. Reform Gain one base tax in London, lose the stability we just gained, and uh, get revolts in uh, Gabon. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. And in Pyrenees, or do not reform and just gain a third stability. Okay. Okay. Gain a base tax in London. Nice. I don't know if this has any follow-up events or anything. Uh, the penalties are quite heavy here. But I think we will reform. Right. This guy attached to ships. And go to Pirineo. Oh, of course I didn't do the maintenance of the fort. Ah, that was stupid. That was really stupid. I should have increased maintenance on the fort. Now they'll siege it and re-maintain it, so I have to siege. Oh, that's going to be troublesome. Anywho, Navy arrives. Will the soldier arrive before the siege is complete, though? That would be nice if they did. Alright. Uh, this is... Uh, Barcelona and Aragon type thingy. Yeah, so Barcelona, we have a claim here. Renounce the claim and that's fine. We got there before the s they sieged it out. Excellent. Alright, we won here, so you head back to Nawara, we'll be, we will be actually uh, attritioned. Now we will go here. Right? Yeah, well, uh, we don't want to conquer Aragon anymore, so we should be fine. And these probably need to be repaired. Waters. Alright. More coast, more coast of Sea of Coros. Okay, that's like over here. There's something here, something down here as well, and something up here. Alright. Exciting stuff. Um, I don't actually don't know what the random word looks like. I randomized it and uh, kept it hidden from myself before I started the game. So, um, yep, yeah, it's uh, all new to me as well. We arrived here. We want our ships to be in decent shape before we actually send them to Africa. Yeah, a few more months, five months or thereabouts. Cores are about to finish. There's Poitou. And that was a development of 18. And the other one here has development of 9. So, the one in Congo, here's all going on. Galera, no, Congo, here, this one. Come home. Oh, and we need to, um, we need to, um, Make a new, um, what's called? Uh, parliament seat, province. Oh, sorry, I was here. Uh, 
London is already, I imagine. Essex would probably be as well. Yep. Wessex. Wessex isn't. But no, and they are not on the state either, so. Wessex it is. It doesn't show until I actually close and re click. But alright. Uh, nope, doesn't change anything there, so we're good. In that respect. Gabon produces naval supplies. Diplomat has arrived. So let's have a look at Ireland here. Offer vassalization. No, not quite. Oh well. Gallery of Friesland, Trier. We will work on you, I guess. See if we can get you out of the um, coalition. And the ship here, they are almost repaired. Let's run another month. And that didn't really reveal anything that we can actually reach with our colonists. So let's find some other area here. Coast of the South Atlantic, further down in Africa. Fine. And these need a few more days to be repaired. Right, there we go. These guys on board the ship. And to Africa we go. And we'll just land straight on. Can we do that? Well, we can't. So we go here. And we have a tech diplo step, and it's actually trade range, not colony range. But we will take this. Right, and with that, I think we'll end this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching.